Now let's come back to our slides of uh, multiplication operation in theory. And first slide we discuss we are discussing about this paper pencil binary multiplication. I think we had enough through that through that example we did. It, we did the same example actually in a more animated form uh, so far. So I believe you would have been understanding that from those set of animations. Uh, Clearly, if you have any questions, let me know at this point, okay? And then, how the algorithm, let's look at the algorithm, what we discussed so far. So, we start and assign product as 0, okay, some product. And then, we look at the LSB of the multiplier, which is multiplied 0, this LSB, and test if it is 0 or not. Now, if it is not a 0, means it is a 1. So, we need to add the product with the multiplicand, right, and then left shift multiplicand by one bit. And if it is zero, then we don't need to do anything on the product because if my multiplier uh, LSB is zero, then there is no product at that point, right. So, we just shift the multiplicand to left bit and multiplier to the right bit, and we go with the 30 second repetition, if it is not a 30 second repetition, we go back to the testing multiplier LSB of multiplier and do the same process. So, here the underlying assumption is that multiplicant is stored in a sh register with a left shift capability and that register is double in size. So, if multiplicant is 32 bit multiplicand, we are storing this initial multiplicand in a 64 bit register with a left shift capability, where the multiplier is stored still in a 32 bit multiplier. So, we are talking about a 32 bit machine here. Multiplier is stored in a 32 bit multiplier with a right shift capability. So, with that, what we need to know now? We need to deploy one register 64 bit with a left shift capability. So, let us we are showing a control like a left shift. Uh, do not worry about how it works internally and stuff like that out of scope this class. We will talk more about this shift register in 147, but just for time being assume there are electronic such electronic component we can devise that we can selectively load onto some uh, bits of the multiple of an register and make them left shifted like per clock basically left shifted per clock. So, we stored the multiplicand in the lower half of the 64 bit register and we deploy a 64 bit product. Oh, that is what I missed in the previous uh, uh, slide to tell you this product is since it is 64 bit for a 32 bit machine, your product this register or storage is going to be 64 bit for you. So, 64 bit for product, 64 bit for multiplicand, 32 bit for multiplier. Alright, so product is 64 bit and what is happening? We need to add selectively add multiplicand which is 64 bit with the product which is also 64 bit depending on if multiplier bit is 1 or 0. All right, so, we need to deploy an adder which is 64 bit adder by the way. So, we are having the product register which is let us say initialized at 0 at the start of this whole algorithm and this product itself connected to as and one input of the adder and output of the adder is connected back into the product register. So, so that it can conveniently do this product plus the multiplicand if needed and store it that partial summation into the product register. Okay, so, this is this part. Now, let us come back to this, this multiplexer. This is a 2 by 1 64 bit multiplexer. So, both this selection input has 64 bit. Either we want to select 0 to be added on to the product or it is a multiplicand register that whole 64 bit to be added on top of the product. So, this is what this 2 by 1 multiplexer 64 bit multiplexer is deployed in this purpose. And the selection bit whether I want to select the multiplicand 64 bit or select the 0 that is come from something like a controller. 
Now what this controller digital circuit is, controller and test, is the one who actually runs this previous page algorithm, this algorithm, okay. So if it is a simple enough algorithm, we can actually put it on the hardware. A controller, digital controller can actually go and test the LSB and do the shifting control and stuff like that. So what it does practically, per clock, it goes and perform one step at a time. Okay, And at some point of time, it performs like, more step which in, involve the product uh, calculation. If if not needed, then it just basically skip that part and do the multiplicand uh, shifting multiplier shifting. Oh, we didn't talk about the multiplier. So multiplier is stored in the 32-bit register with a shift write capability. Okay, and this control of this whole component, like shift left for the multiplicand register, shift right for the multiplier register, and write or load signal for the product register. What it does basically, unless someone tells the product register to write or register that data, it doesn't do anything. Even if the partial product is available out of the adder, it won't be loaded into the product until this write signal goes to the high logic. As long as it is held low, this right signal held low, nothing is written back into this product, product register. So controller can really control when to write into this product register. When it is needed, like at this point, at this step where if the multiplier LSB is not a zero, we need to write back the product register with increasing with the multiplicand, at that point, it basically issues the right signal to one. Otherwise, it's keep it to zero. And also, the select signal of multiplication, it basically look at this multiplier is fed into the controller, controller test, look at the LSB of the multiplier, and depending on that, it issues a signal select, whether one or zero, to be selected it at zero to be added onto product or multiplicand to be selected uh, as uh, to be added to the product to compute the partial uh, sum. And then once the step is done at appropriate point, at some point of time, look at we need to left shift uh, multiplicand right shift multiplier. So it issues left shift and right shift signal. Uh, in fact, like uh, these two can be done in one single clock cycle, multiplicand and multiplier, because they are two independent register and can be shifted together in one clock cycle. So these two step is done in one clock cycle. Okay, and then this whole process is is basically repeated for thirty two times, and so one thirty two times is done. Controller tells the external world that, hey, I'm done. Pick up the result from this result port, which is basically connected to directly to the product register, the 64-bit. 